Hi guys, I am glad to see you again and today we will play a little bit with automatic aviation weight weather data processing, of course in MATLAB. First of all, let me introduce uh, the basic weather formats that we have. If you uh, remember, in aviation we have plenty of different weather formats, but one of the most frequently used it is METAR. METAR it is a specific format for reporting weather information. Thus, uh, pilots or airline can request the current weather for any airport or any point. Uh, and a uh, specific air navigation service provides us uh, weather data at specific uh, format, which called METAR. One more that METAR it is actual weather in airport usually or in some meteorological station. Usually METAR format looks like this one. You, you can see that. It, would in, it include uh, identification code of uh, airport and uh, some time of observation and then data about current weather in airport. There are different fields and uh, different and METARs depends on uh, current weather and depends on uh, which field is used. Thus, there are plenty of different uh, fields, which of them, each of them means something. For example, actual temperature or dew point or some other parameters like uh, speed of uh, wind or direction of wind. Okay, uh, thus, uh, today uh, I would like to propose you to get some uh, METAR for some airports directly in MATLAB and then try to uh, build some graphs related to current weather in different airports. First of all, uh, let me introduce uh, one of the big biggest, uh, biggest hub of current aviation weather. It will be located in NOAA, just a second, uh, if you type type NOAA.gov you will see that NOAA it is National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration of United States of America and this is very powerful uh, organization that hosts millions of resources and tons of data and uh, actually uh, we will go to tools and resources and uh, then uh, switch to weather and climate and then we are interested in aviation weather because in this case we can get our METAR messages around the world for any airfield uh, which we can even imagine. Then uh, we need aviation weather center. It is um, a specific uh, division of NOAA which uh, collects and make deal with uh, different uh, aviation weather data. Thus here we can get uh, METARs for any places around the world. We can get uh, uh, like uh, TAF, it is a forecast, report for forecast of weather at some point. And uh, in my ex example I will use Ukrainian airspace thus here in aviation visit center we have interactive map where we can uh, zoom or zoom out and we can see uh, airports in uh, Ukraine um, I will use Ukraine as an example to build um, uh, weather analysis for these uh, weather stations Thus, you can see that in Ukraine we have uh, a few airports with uh, uh, ground weather stations. 
which reports Mitar to Noah. And then Noah collects uh, it uh, at specific data formats and uh, make possible to anyone uh, get this data and process or visualize it in specific application. Uh, also, they've got API, but uh, we don't want to play with API because so many functions is prepaid. Thus, um, uh, I, I propose uh, to use uh, another tool that we have here. It is um, uh, text data server. It called and uh, this text data server provide provides us XML data for any METAR which we would like and also quite important that uh, here we've got the whole or like row METAR and decoded values of METAR. Um, here we have an example thus we can get METAR, we can get uh, aircraft reports about weather, TAF, uh, air segments, and uh, some other data which uh, we, we would not would like to play. Actually, if you go to example, you will see that uh, there are different uh, different description and different like condition what type of data we can use in our case uh, i would like to guess the most recent METAR thus uh, in airport facility we've got meteorological station and usually it is uh, automatic and uh, this meteorological center uh, read a lot of sensors then process it and uh, form METAR message and then send this METAR message to their uh, international facility for sharing like aviation weather center uh, in this case uh, METAR usually is issued each half hours or maybe each hour or it depends on current weather thus if weather is changed very frequently uh, the frequency of METAR generation may be increased thus in my case uh, we've, we will use identification codes uh, of airports by ICAO there are two main types of um, identification codes of airports ICAO and IATA uh, we will use uh, ICAO and uh, in this case uh, we will need the most recent METAR it means METAR which is uh, actual now for time when we get this data it is important when, to, when you would like to take off or landing at particular airport thus you, you do not need to know METAR like three hours before you need to know actual weather thus we will work with the most recent recent METAR and in this case we need to uh, click an example here and you will see that uh, we've got some link and in this link uh, we've got added uh, by get data format oh sorry added by uh, get uh, data format some variables data source uh, re request type format xml hours before now three hours most recent true installation string it means here we need to specify airport and if you would like for example to get that data about uh, Burispil International Airport which has identification code UKBB we need just to specify UKBB here and we've got actual weather for uh, Burispil Airport for uh, 20 uh, for 22nd of January 2022 which means now and 40 hours uh, UTC. 
Thus, uh, here we've got row data of METAR. And uh, here, because it is XML, in XML we usually use specific scheme. Uh, scheme of X XML describe like identifications of uh, each field. Thus, we can uh, drill the scheme if you would like, but actually uh, I would like to be more speedy, thus I don't want to discuss more about uh, XML schema data format. Thus, just try to remember that we've got specific uh, uh, indicators and if we uh, get file like that, we can read this file by uh, MATLAB facility and, and then upload and sorry download uh, the data from uh, this file into matrices in MATLAB and it will take uh, not too, too much time. Thus uh, also before we will start I would like to come back just a second and one more time. Uh, here we've got field description Thus, uh, each field of our schema is described here. Thus, here uh, field name, description, and units like feeds, uh, uh, Celsiums, uh, or other, or dooms, meters. Thus, everything uh, is uh, decoded here. Okay, I will come back and uh, I will open probably example, then I will go to the most recent and uh, actually uh, I would like to switch to uh, MATLAB to start coding. Thus, first of all, let's uh, specify MATLAB environment for operation, if you remember each lesson or each script in MATLAB we will type with the title thus it will be automatic uh, weather data processing automatic aviation weather data processing then we will specify an author uh, it will be me, Ivan uh, Osroumov. Then uh, I would like to specify date. Thus, today is 20 seconds of uh, January 2022. And uh, as you remember, each script in uh, MATLAB we will start from oh, two words. It will be CLC, clear command window, then clear vars, oh sorry, vars. And because we will uh, make deal with a graph, we will include close all. Uh, thus, three of these lines uh, will prepare a MATLAB environment for processing our new script and new data. Then I will save it to uh, prepare our workspace. And uh, next, uh, next, uh, let's try to code. First of all, uh, if you remember, in uh, this description, we can specify few airports, not only one. If you go to, and you will see that we can specify a set of airports uh, in one request. However, in my case, I would like to uh, play a little bit with a loop. Thus, I will uh, create a string uh, matrix with uh, ICAO identification codes of airports. And uh, later, I will download uh, XML file with uh, METAR data for each airport separately. Thus I will specify airport and here I specify uh, string matrix 
uh, string matrix will be uh, defined by uh, this kind of brackets. And then I will specify uh, identification codes of uh, uh, airports. And in this case, uh, to make to be more accurate, I will go to Aviation Weather Center and uh, I will open uh, METAR map and I just get identification codes of ICAO uh, from this map and it means that I will use uh, identification codes which is present in system thus UKLL I will use also capital case UKLL then second uh, code UKLI then uh, it will be UKLR then it will be uh, UKWW uh, then it will be UKBB for spill where we are and uh, Kharkiv UKHH and then I need to uh, move a little bit uh, my script editor then I will yet at UKDD, then I will add uh, UKON and uh, Adesa UKOO. Thus, I've got a matrix of ICAO identification codes for each airport. Then uh, I will specify. Uh, a loop which will uh, try to evaluate a meta request for each airport separately. Thus I specify a for loop with i uh, loop variable which will be changed from 1 to number of elements in matrix airport. Okay, if you type 4 it means that we should uh, put end. Then uh, let's let's uh, get data. Uh, to read uh, XML data, usually uh, we can use uh, two types of uh, two types of uh, functions. Uh, it can be uh, XML read just a second i will go to google matlab uh, matlab uh, xml read function this is quite good function and uh, if you open it you will see uh, thus xml read file read uh, xml uh, data however uh, this function has uh, a big problem with uh, reading from uh, secured connection and uh, Aviation Weather Center use HTTPS uh, the last letter here S means that the connection between uh, you and this server is secured or coded it means that um, during the reading you will have a problem uh, and this function does not work uh, properly as a solution it will be try to read structure read struct function read struct function uh, do exactly what we need because at the end we've got structured array with all the data uh, however i've got a problem because uh, this uh, function has been introduced only in MATLAB uh, version 2020b and in my case uh, I use version 2016a it means that in my MATLAB version this function uh, does not support it thus uh, I will use another function which is present in my uh, 
uh, in my space. It will be XML to structure. However, this function works with uh, separate XML files and does not support uh, HTTP or HTTPS. In this case, I, I will need to uh, save a file from web to current folder, current working parts. And uh, after that, I will decode this file with uh, XML to struct. Thus, uh, first of all, I will need uh, to use function web save to save uh, function to save uh, file from external source to my PC. And uh, you see that uh, in this case, web save need uh, to use URL and title of file uh, which will be stored in my PC. Thus, let's come back to code. And in this case, first of all, I will need to create a URL or link from which I will download XML file. However, uh, as you can see, we will need to change uh, link in loop because we will need to use uh, specific uh, URL, URL for each airport. In this case, uh, we will use a function strucat. Uh, strucat, uh, you can use uh, uh, help in MATLAB to get information what does it mean, but strucat just uh, put different strings together. Thus, it's like a clue for different strings. And in this case, uh, I will go to my XML file, then Ctrl C, Ctrl A, and Ctrl C. I will copy all the paths which we have for getting data. Then I will go to my code and put this path in my uh, in my. Uh, function through cut and here I will delete identification code of airport and uh, then I can put comma and specify my matrix airport and specify uh, identification of uh, what kind of uh, cell I will use Thus, I need just put i. Thus, i it is variable of loop, and uh, in loop, this link will be different for different uh, for different uh, uh, loop computation uh, cycle. Next, uh, next we will save this XML file for each um, airport separately in my working folder. To do that, we also need to specify a file, uh, maybe name, for, uh, for file which we saved, because uh, I would like it to save it at specific also title. Thus, I will use also strcut function to uh, compose the title for files. Thus, it will be metar, then dash, then I will use uh, airport, airport, uh, identification code, and then it will be uh, dot xml it is extension of file uh, okay uh, thus I, I, I will do like that next next let's create file files and use function web save to do that uh, I will introduce variable r for example R will hold title of uh, for file 
and pass uh, to this file uh, after saving. Thus, web save function I will call, and then I will specify uh, file name. File name. However, uh, because file name it will be cell array, I need to extract exactly text or exactly string. Thus, I will use something like that, uh, such kind of brackets, and specify first element because it will include only one element with the text. Next, uh, and if you remember in web save function, we need to specify link. And here it will be link, and also I will use the same time of brackets to get this data. Uh, next, I can read uh, structure. Thus, I will use m, for example, variable m, and I will use function xml to struct. And uh, here I will need to specify uh, a path for my XML file. Then if we run this type of code, let's try to see how, what is it. Okay, I need to put uh, semicolon of at the end of link because it will take a lot of time and uh, as you see that we've got airport it is matrix with which hold uh, string uh, identification code of each airport then we've got a file name which is only one yep uh, then we've got uh, link, I don't want to show you, and R. R, it is a pass for my saved file. And uh, if we go... Okay, let's check what we have in matrix M. Thus, uh, we will go to uh, workspace, then we've got matrix M. If we click it twice, we will have that matrix M, it is a structured array inside of which we have other matrix, which called response. If we click on response, you will see there are many sub matrices inside of this uh, structured matrix. We will need data. If we click to map data, you will have also to metar. Also, we will click into Metar, and here we've got all our data, like row text data, station identification code, latitude, longitude, temperature, dew point, wind direction in degrees, wind speed, uh, uh, altimeter settings, it means pressure in airport. All of this data we will try to extract from this structured array. Thus, uh, this type of data called structured data, and this is structured array. Next, uh, let's try to extract, for example, latitude, longitude uh, to our uh, matrices in MATLAB to plot it uh, in some uh, in some uh, graphs. Thus, uh, first of all, uh, first of all, yep. Uh, just a second. I will make it uh, more wider. Uh, let's uh, let's get just a second. First of all, it is latitude. Thus, let let's get latitude data. In this case, I will do like that. Uh, I will create matrix uh, latitude. Then I will specify that it will to be it will be is element, and then uh, I will use uh, function true to num number to convert string data 
two number because you will see that here we've got field text and this is value in brackets it means that it is a string value thus uh, to make it stored as a integer or double data we need to put this data uh, from string to number thus we will use converter string to number uh, string to number and here we need to specify uh, a way to our data. In, the, in our case, it will be this path, which includes m dot uh, response dot uh, data dot metar capital clay case, then dot la dot and then we need to specify field text and uh, this line uh, uh, give us exactly latitude of our of our uh, ground station also we now we can change here back to numel and uh, numel airport next uh, next we will need longitude uh, thus I just uh, copy this line then change uh, it to long and uh, here I will change to longitude longitude then I will do the same for temperature uh, let it be only T uh, and temperature in my case it is uh, temp C temp C temp C field uh, just a second uh, small case temp C thus here I will type temp uh, C C it means in degrees then uh, we will need dew point dew point in my case it will be dp uh, how you will use uh, you can uh, imagine or you can use your own variables here and dew point it is dew point in degrees maybe i will minimize my screen in some way like that then uh, here i need to uh, uh, retype dew point dew point dew point then uh, i will need also wind direction wind direction and wind direction here i wind dur degrees uh, thus i will specify uh, wind uh, dur degree degrees uh, and then I will need uh, wind speed wind speed uh, here it will be uh, wind uh, speed speed in knots knots and uh, pressure at the airport uh, alt all team inch per uh, hg therefore i will copy it and i will put like p which means pressure and i will uh, specify uh, alt alt i am in dunes hg hg okay uh, this uh, and now this is time to try to run and try to uh, check if we have any mistakes in our code thus i just run it then cross uh, my finger because we type a lot and probably we can get some mistakes we are lucky we don't have any mistakes uh, and uh, if you see in our workspace we've got uh, 
matrix latitude i can open it we've got matrix longitude we've got matrix pressure we've got matrix uh, temperature uh, we've got uh, wind direction and wind speed and dew point okay this is pretty well uh, also let's check uh, my current folder uh, this current folder I've got in MATLAB and you will see that all METARs in XML file for each airport has been downloaded successfully for our current folder and has been decoded. Thus everything is good. First step of our program has been done. We grab the data for Ukraine. Next let's print uh, our results in some graphs. First of all, uh, I would like to specify that uh, in MATLAB we can separate one script into parts. And to do that, uh, you can use double percentage sign. Therefore, here we can uh, set up like visualization part. Thus, first of all, we grab the data and here we've got visualization of our data. Uh, next, uh, next, we will uh, specify figure. Uh, we will start from figure. Thus, figure. Then uh, we will put color of our figure to white because by default, by default it's a little bit gray uh, and if you will copy it or if you will use it uh, somewhere a white color will be much more welcome then we will specify name for our new window of graph and in this case uh, first of all uh, it will be ukraine dot Ukraine dot and uh, we will specify a uh, location of uh, airport then uh, then uh, we will try to plot uh, plot all the stations that we have Thus, I just put plot, then specify longitude, comma, uh, latitude, comma, then specify identifier or marker. It will be squ square and with red color. Then uh, I will put a description of labels, thus uh, X label x label it will be longitude longitude in degrees then uh, i will specify y label y label it will be latitude oh sorry uh, i forget the brackets latitude uh, comma degree okay next uh, also degree should be, be a, a little bit more uh, okay and also we can specify title title usually it should to be the same with uh, title of figure thus I just uh, copy uh, it will be location of our uh, airports uh, semicolon then I will use uh, hold on uh, hold on and uh, then I will specify title of airports uh, it will be text uh, function text will specify text at specific location 
In this case, we need to use uh, longitude, latitude, and uh, airport uh, matrix. Then we can put uh, hold off, hold off, and also I prefer to specify grid on, and I will put grid on uh, exactly after the plot read on function then if i click right bottom here i've got evaluate current section or shut case uh, control enter in this case i will evaluate only this small part of court and uh, we've got uh, our graph you will see longitude latitude and all airports with metar data which we process. Next, uh, let's uh, print, for example, temperature distribution for all of these airports. To do that, I just copy uh, probably figure, plot, and label. Thus, I will also create second section which I called temperature temperature and I will put this one oops, sorry and uh, probably I will open it wider thus it will be Ukraine temperature report then I will copy temperature and also put it in the title. Then uh, by X label I will put airport title. For Y it will be temperature in Celsius, in degrees of Celsius. And in plot uh, first of all, we need to specify uh, numbers, which will be in the order of airport we, we have. In this case, I will use this type of uh, specification, thus I will set up matrix from one to number of elements in a airport matrix. And uh, for Y, I use uh, temperature. In our case, it is uh, T. Then, uh, in this case, uh, I will use just solid line. Maybe it will be blue. Uh, blue and, and that's all. Next, uh, next, I think we need to specify also, we can specify drew point also here because it is also temperature. Thus, I will use uh, the same identification. Just uh, change here to dew point. It is DP matrix uh, in our loop. However, I will use different identification. It will be also solid line, uh, however, with O marker, and it, it should be red because dew point. Uh, next, I will specify also legend because we have two temperatures. First of all, it will be just temperature with a capital T and uh, the second one it will be dew point okay next uh, we need to uh, play a little bit to visualize uh, titles of airports To do that, uh, we will use function set, which set up uh, our GCA. 
uh, I will use also GCA. GCA it is our graphic uh, graphic settings. Thus we will get graphic settings. Then get settings for x tick, and then set up these settings for values from one to number of elements in airport matrix. Uh, then I will put semicolon here and then uh, we need to specify also another value x tick label label and in this case we will specify just airport matrix and I, I see that I've got pro, uh, mistake label and if we run it again we will have matrix we will have a graph like that thus based on our data we've got uh, drew point as a red you can see drew point red and temperature is a blue and here we've got airport identification code thus we can see how temperature is distributed over the different airports. Okay, next it is wind direction. I think we can copy this type of code and try to plot wind direction. Uh, wind direction. Uh, wind direction. And uh, wind direction. It is uh, WD in my case. Uh, and uh, we do not need any other thing. Airport here is uh, direction, direction from north, north, uh, and here it will be degree. Uh, and uh, title should uh, be the same with the title of window. And legend, we do not need legend here because it is only one uh, one type of data. And uh, also wind direction, I would like to specify at the uh, block of our code. Then I will click Control Enter, and I've got uh, plotted uh, graph for wind direction in uh, Ukrainian airports. Next, uh, next wind speed and pressure. Uh, thus, I just uh, copied and paste. Wind direction, then wind speed. Uh, wind speed, speed and wind speed. And uh, here wind speed. Uh, here we need to specify uh, wind speed or just okay, wind speed. And also we need to check uh, which um, units has been used for wind speed. It is knots. Uh, but however, I would like to convert it, convert it to C, which is meters to seconds. Thus, uh, knots meters to seconds uh, we can convert uh, quite easily. Thus, we just use uh, Google as thus knots to meters per second, and and you will see that we just need to uh, multiply. Uh, with this value. Uh, therefore, uh, we need VS matrix multiply with the uh, uh, value which I copied. Thus, uh, I will go here and, the, uh, and only put multiply with this value. Uh, just I need to change uh, comma to point. And uh, wind speed meters comma per second let's run and we've got uh, wind speed in meters per second 
for all of these airports. And finally, it is uh, pressure at airport. Uh, in this case, we need also to copy this statement and we will put it here and here it will be pressure. Uh, Ukraine pressure map pressure uh, pressure pressure uh, and in this case it is in dooms of uh, HD if you would like to transform it to uh, millimeters of AG we need to multiply with uh, 33 okay uh, okay just a second let's uh, go to Google one more time and uh, we can also specify in HG to uh, millimeters AG and uh, you will see that in this case uh, we will need okay we will need to multiply what we have with 51 No, sorry, we need to multiply with 25 and 4. Thus, in this case, we need to multiply pressure, it will be P, with 25 and 4. 25 and 4. And uh, here it will be millimeters. Uh, millimeters of HG. Okay, let's run. Oh, sorry, uh, pressure. We also need to specify pressure uh, in the title. Next. And we've got the following uh, pressure distribution for Ukrainian airports. Thus, let's run again all of our code and see what kind of grab you have. Let's run it again. And we have a plot for pressure. We have plot for wind speed. Then we, we've got plot for wind direction, plot for wind temperature, and location of airports in Ukraine. Thus, uh, you see that uh, getting data from uh, XML data format, it is quite easy. And everyone can use it. Uh, however, take attention that you cannot grab all the data in this way because aviation, aviation weather server uh, give you a great possibility to grab all the data in one text file. Thus, you will reduce uh, time of uh, uh, time of execution in server. Thus, I will prepare to grab all the data in one file and then decode all of this file. However, in particular this case, we are working with a small number of airports that I don't think that it will produce valuable uh, impact into the performance of server. 
Thus, in this case, we grab actual METAR, the most recent METAR for Ukrainian airports. Thank you for watching. Uh, I will be glad uh, to answer any questions if you have. See you later.